Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. I have had a, a actually a really good day. Second channel launch today. It's been very good. <laughs> I'm really excited. But today we are back in the OHO Nether Outpost, and I want to build uh, the TOC or the the, the TOC Tactical Operations Center war room, planning room, meeting room, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to be building in today's episode, and that's going to go right over here. And depending on how long that takes, we may tackle this room over here, which is going to have a portal that will lead to like a secret, um, basically like a secret entrance to the, the NHO's jungle, just in case. Um, but I don't know if we'll have time to get to that today. We'll see. So... I've been doing some preparations. I have 20 maps, so basically a 5x4 map of the uh, NHO's jungle, and we're going to end up putting that up on the wall here. We also need to figure out some other details, tables, lighting, all that kind of stuff. But before I can do that, we got to get the floor in place. And I think what I kind of want to do is replicate this design over here on that side. I think it'll work. Uh, the, the rooms are basically the same dimensions, so I think that's what I need to start with. Um, and that also means that I need to dig all of this out, because otherwise we're not going to have the space to properly do the floor. So let me get this dug out, let me get some work done on the floor, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. A little bit of a progress update. I got the floor done. I got some glass in place. Got a couple temporary torches here for lighting so that you guys can actually see. I think the next step is probably for me to get the ceiling in place and the walls. I don't know yet. Uh, we're going to have to do some, some different things with the walls than we've done elsewhere, uh, at least in some spots, because otherwise... Uh, we won't be, I mean, the map needs to go over here, so we can't just take this wall pattern and, and completely cover it. I'm also considering having multiple maps, maybe even if we don't have, uh, additional maps up, um, this episode. Maybe I'll go in and I'll figure out a couple other maps to add to this area later. Like, maybe we could do a map of, um, the pit in the mesa or uh, the castle, or who knows, you know? It, things that would be potential uh, locations for, like, a battle, I think would all be good potential options for having a map in this outpost. Also, somebody commented and said, hey, nobody's ever going to use this outpost. Stop building it. It's a waste of time. <laughs> and I chuckled, because first of all, I intend to use this outpost. The OHO is going to use this outpost, myself uh, for sure, and Biffa probably will make use of it as well when he's doing stuff with me, OHO things, right? Second of all, does anything in Minecraft really, truly have a purpose as far as being built? Uh, I mean, okay, farms, sure, technical stuff, yes, fair enough, technical stuff does indeed have a purpose, right? Like, I, I, if I build a giant sugarcane farm... Its purpose is to give me sugarcane. But, like, you build a castle. You build a village. You build, um, you know, whatever. Anything. You, you build anything that's there to look pretty. What's the purpose? D from a gameplay perspective, does it really serve any purpose whatsoever? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The whole point of min Minecraft is to uh, be creative and... and build whatever you want. Whatever you're feeling inspired to build, and this area, I'm very inspired. I really like this block palette. I talked about it in a live stream a couple days ago. I really, truly am digging the nether brick with the shades of gray and black. I, I really haven't built with nether brick extensively in the past. I mean, I suppose you could make the argument, oh, well, you use nether brick all the time in, in your single-player world in Kingdoms. And, okay, fair enough, I do. But I also use a texture pack that makes it black and not this maroon color. Uh, I, I can't really think of anything that I've built in the past, at least nothing that's a, you know, a relatively larger project, you know, multiple episodes or anything like that, multiple videos, I can't really think of anything where I was using the 
uh, the default nether brick texture in the block palette. I can't think of anything at all. I, I, I think this may be a first for me. And I have to say, when you combine it with the black uh, of the concrete and then the different shades of gray, it looks really good. Like, I really like it. And that's, that's saying something because this style is very, very uh, out of the ordinary for me. This is a style that uh, I'm not super comfortable in. This is this is new and uh, and it's kind of exciting to do new things. This may be even a style that we could use for like a proper main base at some point. Um, maybe in like a, a future season or something like that. You know, as kind of a uh, it wouldn't be exactly like this. I mean, I obviously find ways to kind of tweak it and modify it. Maybe use some other blocks, but at the same time, I'm I'm really liking this. I'm liking it a lot. I think it's very cool. Um, and I think it, the colors just go really well together. They complement each other so well, uh, which is hard to say for, for nether brick. For the most part, nether brick is a texture. Well, not so much a texture, but a color that's really challenging to use because it doesn't blend with most other materials in the game. Uh, in fact, I would make an argument that this is one of the first times that I've seen it used in a way that I, I look at it and go, ah, oh, I actually really like the way that looks. That doesn't happen very often. So I'm pretty excited. I think this is awesome. Um, okay, so we've got our ceiling in place. We'll do the details on the ceiling later. We're going to have to figure out some lighting stuff. But I think our next step is to go ahead and get our map in. And we're going to have a 5 by 5 uh, oh, I'm sorry, a 5 by 4 map. So I think what we're going to do is we'll put it here. We'll bring these guys up. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, and up here. We'll put those in. And then we're going to take this and recess it, I think. Recess? Recess. Hmm. Either way, <laughs> that word. Uh, also, we need to take this stuff and clear it out. Because we learned when we were building the war room in the castle that if you're going to put up item frames and maps on the wall, you definitely want to have glowstone behind it. Or it just it doesn't look very good. So we'll do that. And now the question is, if I get rid of these torches, is that going to shed enough light? No, it will not. It will light up this area relatively well, but we would need another light back here and another light back there, I think, in order for me to feel comfortable. So, and we, we can maybe find a way to do that. Um, but that should be okay. All right, so if I have assembled these properly, oh, hey, <laughs> genius. I'm an idiot sometimes. It would probably be beneficial if I put the item frames on the wall before I tried to put the maps on the wall. Dirt da dirt. there we go. If I have put these in the chests properly, they should all connect without any issues. Now, I don't know if they will update properly. Like if I break them off the wall and, and put them back, I don't know if they're gonna properly update with me being in the nether, but we'll have to, we'll have to find out. There's, no, there's really only one way to find out. Um, so I guess we'll see. But the idea here is that this is going to allow us to keep tabs on the NHO, uh, you know, do a little bit of recon and stuff like that as needed, and kind of keep an eye on what shenanigans they're up to, make sure they don't catch us by surprise if there's a, a war, if we get to the point of all-out war, which, you know, who knows, that may happen. It may not, it may happen. I, I'm certainly not going to... Uh, fire the first shot, so to speak, but uh, if it comes down to it, um, you know, the OHO and the people, we will do the things. But this looks pretty good. Um, up, <laughs> there we go. It was being a little difficult, and it looks like I did put them in the proper spots when I was making the map. That looks good. That looks very good, in fact. I'm I'm quite happy with it. It looks like everything blends together. Looks like none of the maps are like out of place. You can see 
Beef's Wall up here, the big OHO gates right there. This is Doc's skull. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. This right here... I'm not entirely sure what that is. This is Beef's... Uh, this is Doc's skull. This is their jungle temple. So what would that be? I guess maybe... It's gotta be a Doc something. Uh, Ethos like up here somewhere, I think. B Dubs' tree is like over here. You you can't really tell because it it just blend. Or no, wait. Let's see. So this is Doc's skull. So I think this right here is B Dubs' uh, little cabin thing where his sheep farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the arena. This is Beef's Tower. Beef's house and his map room is, like, over in here somewhere. This is the arena. This is B-Dub's, like, starter house, which means his tree is, like, right in here. I think you can kind of see a little bit of the path there. So, all in all, this gives us a pretty good map of the jungle. There's a lot of unused space here as well. Um... That must just be another jungle temple. Interesting. But anyway, we got the map in place. So now we need to figure out lighting. We got to figure out the ceiling design. And we got to figure out some other details and things like that to work in as well. Now that I don't have the maps taking up here, I can just dump this stuff in and not feel guilty about it. So let's see what we can work out as far as that is concerned. I think we'll start with the ceiling because the ceiling is going to include lighting. Where did I put all my nether brick? There it is. Let's grab some of that. Let's grab a couple of these as well in case I want to make more and we'll grab some stairs too. And then I'm going to need a flint and steel and some iron bars because we're going to do a couple of those like hanging chandelier lights uh, over here. I don't know exactly where. We may Maybe we'll just put them on the side. We'll have to, we'll have to see what we can come up with. Um, but let's go there. Actually, if we put a couple of those chandelier lights, if we put one like right here and right here, that should light everything up, I think, adequately enough that we, we can get rid of those little torches. So let's go there. And then we do a stair and a stair, right? And then I guess we would do something like this. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Here. Here. And basically what we're trying to do... Uh, iron bar. Iron bar. I should have dark oak in my ender chest here. There we go. Basically what we're trying to do is just make sure that there's adequate lighting in here. Put a slab there and a slab here. And then we light those four sides. And that should make it light enough in here that you guys can actually see. I hope. <laughs> I think it will. This looks pretty lit up to me. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then we could go... Hmm, that's going to run into the ceiling over there. Because what we would do is something like this, right? Well, no, it'll work. It'll work. Um, I'll just have to kind of pillar up a little bit, stick that here. And we could do something along those lines, right? As sort of our ceiling design. Get rid of that. And then maybe... I'm trying to think about how we can add some detail to this and make it look a little bit more interesting. 
what if we were to do something like that? I don't know that I really like that. I think it would be better if the circle was smaller, but that would also involve moving those lights, and I don't think I want to do that. I like the lights where they're at. Although, here's a thought. What we could maybe do is get kind of a straighter shape in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. And we could come up here. Knock these guys out. I think. There we go. And let's try replacing those with some full blocks and adding maybe a glowstone up there. Uh, the glowstone looks really out of place. I mean, this that would be the only place where there would be visible glowstone uh, basically in the entire base, and I don't think that's the right answer. I'm also looking at this and trying to decide if I like that. I don't think I do. I'm tempted to bring the whole map up by one block so that we could then have a straight line up here. Here, come on, get up there. Like so. Break that guy out. Let's just let's just look at this and let's just see if this would be better. And just try to envision the map being up a little. Yeah, I think that would be better. Okay, let me get the map moved. Okay, map has been moved up. And then what we need to do, we need to get rid of this glowstone right here for sure. Uh, we can replace that backside over there with netherrack. Let's grab some of these materials because we are still going to have this uh, cyan terracotta right here. But we'll bring that up like so. I think that looks a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I prefer that over what we had before. That's good. That's good. Okay, so that's good. We've got our lighting kind of figured out uh, right there, up at that level. What what would we want to put there? If anything, maybe we wouldn't want to put anything there at all. Or maybe we would just want to throw like a uh, an iron bar in there or something to kind of connect things up. That kind of looks, that looks kind of cool. I don't know what it would represent, but... Uh, hey, whatever, you know, I'm good with it. Okay, so now we need some meeting tables and stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is we'll grab some slabs, we'll grab some stairs and some blocks. And I'm thinking right here, we want to have this set up basically like it would be for a presentation, right? Kind of like uh, something along those lines, I think is good. And then maybe a couple of chairs. Like that looks a little. I'd like to get some chairs. Yeah, let's get some. Let's get some non nether brick chairs. Do I have a crafting bench in here? I do. Let's grab you and go. Like that, we'll try the brown. I don't know if this is going to look good at all. Ah, uh, yeah. Doesn't look bad. But we can maybe get something going like this. A couple of chairs, a little bit of a meeting room, right? So we got that up there. And then we just need to figure out some other, like, details and things to add to this area. Although, actually, I kind of like the fact that it looks like super clean you know what i mean it's very it's almost modern in a way with all the straight lines and how clean everything is i kind of like that i don't know but as for other details we could add uh, maybe some armor stands or um banners we definitely need some oho banners although i, d I don't think we've actually created a an oho banner yet or at least not in a not an official one that's something I should probably do, to be honest. 
so that we can hang them all over the place. Because right now I've got my banner, right, which is my own castle banner, but I don't have one for the OHO. The OHO doesn't have its own banner right now, so um, that would be a good thing to have. And then we could hang a couple of those around this area as well. Actually, that would be a good thing to hang from up here. A couple of OHO banners maybe here, here, and then here and here. I think that would look pretty good. This is nice, though. This place has really come together, and everything is spawn-proof because of the glass. So, we're in good shape. The only thing that we may have to yet do is uh, this room. This secret portal entrance room type deal. And then I think the construction on this little outpost will be complete. We definitely need to fill this with something, though. There needs to be something that goes there. Let me see. I don't know what I've got. I'd like to put, like, some armor stands and stuff there, but I don't really have any. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Ideas. I'm a little, I mean, interiors are not really my strong point anyway. So, like, unless I have a clear plan, I don't really know. I, I'm, I'm running a little dry on, uh, on ideas for that area, I have to admit. Hmm. Uh, one of these has dark oak. There it is. I was gonna say, I know I've got some somewhere. Uh, let's put our glowstone and our quartz in the same one. And actually, we should probably just clear out these whole chest things. <laughs> we should get this stuff organized again. Uh, I don't have any black, or, or I should say I don't have any gray. This is all nether brick. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me, why do we do, why do I do this? Why do I do a line and a stair and a thing, right? So let's just take a couple of these materials to use as an example, right? Say I come to this chest and I want to dump all of my stuff into this chest and hold on to it, right? And then I go off and I do a bunch of crafty world things and I come back and I'm like, hey, uh-oh, what chest was it? This one. I'm like, hey, uh, I need stairs. So then I go off and I do a bunch of things. And then I come back and I dump all my stuff back in. And over time, this will get super disorganized, right? If I want to keep this in a nice ordered system, I can be like, all right, these three rows are going to be for nether brick. This row is going to be for stairs. That row is going to be for slabs. And this will be for bricks. And then when I leave and I come back, I can just shift click all of that stuff in and it will all go into the proper place. So that's why I do it. Um, there's no point in doing it for double chests like this, where you intend to really only have one material in there, you know, like nether brick blocks or whatever. But when you have multiple materials, slayers, stairs, slabs, um, fences, blocks, whatever, it can really be nice to help you kind of stay organized and stay on top of things. It's it's sort of a sort of a easy, simple little sorting system, I guess you would call it. it. It just, I don't know. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, I have gotten into the habit of doing it, and it definitely makes it a lot easier to stay organized, because the other thing then, too, is I know if I come in here and this row is empty, that means, oh, I don't have any uh, nether brick stairs left. You know, I don't have to go looking through all my chests trying to find the right thing. So, just a little tip. And somebody had asked that question, so why not? I figured I'd answer it. Tell you what, I think what we're going to do over here in this room, give me your ideas. What can we put in this, uh, in this, this is basically a war room. What can we put in our operations center right here that would help fill these four corners? So it can't be anything super big, but would also make sense and would fit within the kind of color palette that we've got, you know, within the and would fit with the build. Let's put it that way. Let me know. Unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.